This is the Height Y60. It was released almost two years ago. And today we're gonna go over why it's almost perfect for custom water cooling and give it an obby score. That's me, obby. After building custom water cooling PCs for almost 10 years now, this is ultimately my own opinion. Unboxing the Height Y60, you get this presence that the case is trying to outdo the Lee and Lee O11 dynamic at every turn. It's slightly bigger, wider, introducing the iconic diagonal panel. I think it looks better than the O11. The case comes in red, black, snow white, and regular white. The one we have here is the regular white. On Height's website, the case goes for 200 bucks. Opening up the tempered glass side panel, you're met with this white block. Inside this block is actually the PCIe 4.0 riser cable, and it allows you to vertically mount your GPU. It has the height logo on here, and actually this is the first plus, because when you're custom water cooling, you want to vertically mount your GPU to showcase your block and the coolant running in it. So good stuff height. The motherboard tray can hold up to an EATX MOBO, and it comes with three pre-installed fluid dynamic bearing fans. They look sleek and minimal. There are three main areas to the Y60, the main area where you have most of your components, the back area where you have your power supply and your cables, and this bottom basement area, which is quite roomy. These vent grates allow air to pass easily between all three of these areas, which I like very much because mounting different water cooling pumps and brackets is not an issue in this case. Quite frankly, it opens up a lot of creativity, which is what custom water cooling enthusiasts are looking for. Also, we got to talk about the distro plate support because it's the elephant in the room. This case is so versatile when it comes to distribution plates, you can put this beautiful channels Y60 distro like we have here and also we saw manufacturers releasing different types of distro plates to place behind the diagonal panel which is super cool you can also put a pump rest combo essentially anywhere the optionality wide spacing and aesthetic makes this case a top tier contender when it comes to water cooling you can put a 360 millimeter rad at the top like we did which is awesome because it comes out with this pull-out bracket. I like this because you can put a pressure-optimized fan setup and even thicker rads. I believe we're using 30 millimeters here, but I digress. In the side, you can put a 240 millimeter or 280 millimeter rad, and in the rear, you can put a 120 millimeter rad. All right, next we got the cons. So the case is heavy and wider than I expected. So just make sure you account for that in your setup. Also, it's very popular, so you might find similar builds to yours but since custom water cooling support is pretty good it's not difficult to build a unique setup as well now it's time to give the height y60 an obby water cooling score starting with the water cooling functionality with its versatile options and mounting positions great community support i gotta give this case a 7 out of 10. i would give it a higher score but i have found a few water cooling manufacturers build distros and mounts for this case which is pretty weird considering its popularity but that will improve over time 7 out of 10. all right next is aesthetics with its iconic diagonal shape three removable glass panels and great viewing angles i gotta give this case a 9 out of 10. i really do like the way it looks I know this score is subjective, but it's my opinion. 9 out of 10 for aesthetics. Next, general PC building score. Not every case is great for building in. The case has plenty of room, removable rad trays, and optional vertical mounting. The diagonal glass panel is weird to get to if you want to remove it, but other than that, it's not that bad. 8 out of 10. Maintenance is a category to see how well cases can be opened up and worked on easily because again, we are custom water cooling so maintenance is key and often. This is an 8 out of 10. The case has plenty of room to get your fingers in and although there are side panels that are annoying to open up, it's easy to perform maintenance and drain in this case. 8 out of 10 for maintenance. Lastly, quality. Height did a great job here. The case is sturdy, the paint is great, and the components feel like quality materials. The only thing, again, is the diagonal tempered glass panel mount. It's weird, and one of the tabs broke off when we were building, but other than that, it's good. 9 out of 10 for quality. So adding up all the totals for the obby score, we have 41 out of 50. Almost perfect for the height Y60. Make sure to subscribe and let us know what other cases to review in the comments. 